Stampers, this is Kathleen. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I blog at KathleenStamps.com. Today I'm going to be showing you this Christmas card using the God's Peace stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I'm also using the stitched rectangle dies from Stampin' Up! So all of the information for this card, the cutting measurements and all of the different supplies that I used can be found at my blog at the coordinating blog post and you will find a link to that at the bottom of my video and I will have everything spelled out so that you can easily follow and recreate this card yourself. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using a piece of our Whisper White thick cardstock and I've chosen the thick because I think it works a little bit better with the blends. They absorb in a little bit nicer and it's just, I think it's just easier and I really like the how everything turns out. So go ahead and we'll stamp this with our Memento ink. Okay. So then we'll go ahead and we'll color with our blends markers. So the first that I'm going to be using is the Rococo Rose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the area where the ribbon folds over on itself because that's the area that will create a shadow. And I know that that can be confusing over what to do, when to make a shadow, when not to make a shadow. But it's anything that's going to fold in on itself. And if you look at a piece of ribbon, you can see how when it twists and folds that it gets darker in that area. So I'm just going to go ahead and color this in. And when I want something to blend, I will go back in, add a little bit more of the darker color and then in little circular motions blend it with the lighter color and you'll get that really nice smooth transition of color. And that's just that easy. So for, and um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to color part of this and then I have one that I've already completed. Now for the halo around the candle flame I'm going to be using the light pineapple punch and I'm not going to be doing any blending on this area at all I'll just be coloring it in just like that then for the candle itself I'm going to use the pumpkin pie and I'm just going to make a small little mark at the edge of the candle flame and then I'm going to use the dark pineapple and blend that together just like that. So you can see how easy this is to color. For the actual poinsettia I just decided to use the petal pink and we're just going to make this a light rather than a red poinsettia. Every once in a while you can find really pretty white ones and but with a tiny little pink tinge and so that's how I'm coloring this. So then that's all there is to the poinsettia. And now for the leaves, I'm going to be using the dark at the base of the leaf. Just at the base because that's where the flower lays over it and so there's a shadow. And then I'll go over that with the light old olive. And then you get a nice blend to the green. So you can see how really simple that is to do. And then I would take my Wink Stella and I would go over the glow from the candle and I will put some in the center of the poinsettia just to make it sparkly and then that would be all that would be necessary and then what I did 
so you can see how the Wink of Stella really makes that pop. Okay, so I've previously stamped and completed another one, and I added some seek or some rhinestones to the center of the poinsettia. So let's go ahead and put our card together. So I'm going to be using the Rococo Rose cardstock <clears throat> and a piece of Whisper White. And we just want to get this centered. Then I'm going to use a piece of the rose glimmer paper. And sometimes it's a little cranky and doesn't stick down. So you can see that I added extra snail to that. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our complete, completed card with the design. And you can see how I um, die cut that. Can you see that die cut on the edges, the stitched edging on that? And I used the stitch, or rectangle stitch dies. And from the small, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's the sixth one out for, if you're counting from the center. If you're coming from the outside in, it's the third one. This is the one that I used to die cut that. Now, because this is going on the glimmer paper, sometimes it this is, can be difficult to stick to. Um, I'm not really sure if it's because of the temperature or the humidity or the lack thereof of where I live, but um, I have noticed that I just it just does better if I use the Tombow multi-purpose glue on it. And the other thing that's nice about that Tombow is it gives you a little slip time. So if you aren't really happy with where you initially put it, if it comes out a little bit crooked, you have the opportunity to fix that. So now we're going to stamp the inside sentiment. We'll use our Memento ink again. If you're interested in any of the products that I'm using, you can find them on my blog or in my store at kathleenstamps.com slash shop. Go ahead and we'll stamp this. Giving it some good pressure. So everything transfers nicely. There we go. So there's our sentiment, and we can go ahead and put this on the inside of our card. Now the only thing I did not do on this card that I did on my original card is, can you see the shine that's on the candle flame? It's so beautiful. And this is a new product that we're carrying called Shimmery Crystal Effects and it gives you that raised glistening image that I just think really makes the candles look fabulous. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my card and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Goodbye.